What I do is just like, like you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I haven't really shown this guy on camera too much. It is the same price as an SCX24. It's a tenth scale. It's the Danchi. It's got four wheel steer. Comes with it. I have modded it a little bit. So you can see the green servo on the back. It's got two of those, one on each end. 25 kgs. It's got trenchers. It's got high link clearance. And this thing is nuts. It's a great intro to the tenth scales. And one thing I love that it does is so when you get to spots like this, you can see just the fronts going to help you try to like, tackle some freaking obstacles. And once you get past a certain throttle point, it will kick in the rears. So that's one thing Red Cat did really well. To just front steer here. These trenchers are nuts. They are so, so sticky. So, if you're looking for a 10 scale entry vehicle, go back to this. This is the way to go. Like some of the 10 scales hit seven, eight hundred dollars or more. And this thing with a few mods to it, like none of these mods were expensive. I think the trenchers and the dual stage were the most expensive thing I put on this. I think they're almost the same price as the rig. But <laughs> it's not made for this course at all. What is happening? What is it doing? Turning off? What the hell's going on here? <laughs> I think I have a cable loose. Go, go, go. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Crazy. And it can go pretty slow if you want it to. There's some guys who mod this thing right up. And for an intro, it's a great freaking rig. The twist is insane. Don't flip. Don't do it. Oh, flip. Very, very capable rig. Not so good with the carpet because it keeps getting the tire bind happening. But not, not too bad, really. The servo's got lots of torque, so I don't want to snap anything, especially on the carpet. Yeah, look at that twist. Like, what the shit? That's like stock twist. That's neat. Shocks aren't modified at all. want to get your child something that uh, isn't too expensive I think on eBay there like in Canada I think this thing cost me $180 it comes with a little bit shorter tires they're pretty hard though so that's why I upgraded to the trenchers because they're crazy yep just crushing I really dig how the front just pulls like that. Like that. That's a cool, cool feature. But 
but that's what you can get with dual motors. So they're motor on axle, right? Bring it back down. Yes. Roll. Mm -hmm. All right, here's what it looks like underneath it. So you got your trigger. Got your motor and transmission right there. Motor tranny, all right there. Nice brass aftermarket links. Thing sits pretty low. It's a, it's a pretty rad vehicle. Lots of stretch. Crazy amounts of twist. Yep. I recommend these guys for sure. Had it for a year and a half now. Only used it a handful of times because this course. <laughs> Why go out when you got this? But if, you're if you are going to go out and actually do some rock crawling, this thing is hella fun. I wasn't even on camera. Yeah, just that front pulling, that is great. Like, awesome machine. Crazy side hilling. <laughs> thing is insane. Right to the top. Holy cow. Yeah. So you don't have to spend lots of money to get a four wheel steer like Capra or whatever. I'd honestly suggest this way before those. Very crazy cool rig. And nothing's expensive to replace if you break it. Like, the thing is only $180. Like my SCX24s are much more expensive after the mods I've put into it. So if you're looking for something fun, there's a little size comparison. Yep, this this rig's hella good times. And its top speed isn't too bad either, but I don't like these things for top speed. So, like, right there before the back tire starts lifting. That's pretty damn awesome. Like, stock. Like, Well-designed rig. I think in the UK, this thing's called the Ridgeline. So you can get them over there. Um, I think I've seen Tomley with one, or the other... Uh, I can't remember his name right now. He does lots of bashing at skate parks. Crap. I think he's the most popular UK RC guy. The heck is his name? I can't remember. But this thing's pretty damn awesome. And trenchers. If you're gonna go with an awesome tire, these are insane. They're so sticky. And they got that nice round edge. So, like, if you do hit something, it'll get through it. Like, instead of having lugs that come out, like, all square. These things are great. They will be my next purchase for SCX. Back when I got these, they didn't exist for the 1.0s. Like these, these are pretty tough because they have those lugs. So they do get caught and they don't want to go around something. They just kind of plow through it. It's kind of what it's made for. Swamp Kings, right? They're made for the fucking swamp. Well, these uh, go everywheres. They're like an upgraded Hyrax. I'd have to say they're even better than the Hyrax, personally. Like, there's just so much going on in that tread. Oh, man. Peace.